morning guys, it's our second day of training with B&H in New York. I'm here with JP and we've got our lunch ready to eat and we're ready to learn, lots of learning. Um, hopefully we'll get to take the, uh, the FS5, the Sony FS5 camera out today and do some little test shoots. And then I've requested that we can kind of look over the shoulder of one of the colorists and just see how they, um, how they work with shooting flat, like shooting a uh, S-Log. So for any of you video makers out there, you know what I'm talking about. Probably everyone else is like, what are you talking about? But we'll show you later on. Um, it's just a way to make the final movie look a lot better than these vlogs, which is the aim. This software is DaVinci Resolve. We're gonna have a little look at how to color this log. This is your waveform monitor. Um, you have zero IRE to 100, and you can see it goes a little bit above 100, so that's, yeah. one on, that's the 109. So in a typical S-log shot, it kind of looks compressed, but all the information is there. So you can see this is flat, this image, so if I just go onto the curve and just make a quick little S curve, I can see I'm expanding the um, the way all the color information to go closer to the bottom, and then I'll make it go closer to the top. Come on, computer. <laughs> so it there stretches so out. It stretches oh, it out. Yeah, okay. I have a much higher, this bigger dynamic range because I'm getting from the bottom to the top. So for the next hour or so, I'm going to be shooting in S-Log format, which means the footage is going to look a little bit different. I'm probably not going to be able to grade it to match the rest of the vlog, but we'll, we'll give it a go. Just getting used to shooting differently. And then we've got the FS5. We're going to be mounting the, the zoom, the H6, on there. So we're going to put these in, have these on for better audio, because normally I just use the uh, onboard audio, the, the mics on the on the Sony cameras. We'll see how much better it is vlogging with these. And the other thing I'm gonna be playing around with today is this variable ND filter. And so I can still shoot at a low aperture, but keep my shutter speed correct. All right, I've got the, the lav mic on. And then that's going through to the zoom. And then essentially that's just mounted on the camera. It's not connected, is it? Just mounted, yeah. It's just mounted, just fit. Yeah. That could as easily be mounted on a belt or just someone carrying it. This makes sense. Okay, audio test. Can you hear my voice? Yeah. Does it sound good? It does. Is it peaking or is it? Nope. Nice. Right, so let's test. This is my this is how loud I'd be talking if I was vlogging in this room. Outside I'll probably be projecting a bit more because it's like background noise, so I always think. But I don't know where the audio level is on that. Just right. testing the mic. Here we go. Yeah. I'm just gonna follow you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is oh my gosh, this looks crazy overexposed. I can't see a thing. Does that look crazy overexposed for you? Yeah, but they are sounding like <laughs> No, I just don't understand the <laughs> So, oh, you look so professional, bro. <laughs> you look like a proper cameraman. So, how do I adjust on the fly the ISO? It might be set to this. Uh, you want to go to like pretty New York City, go right. Okay, this so has gone mental now. What now. we're going to do is go back into um, the. To your picture profile. So I'm just thinking, if I'm, if I quickly want to like shoot like I normally do, like running in and out of the shade into the sunlight, like <laughs> the problem at the moment is that's now too dark, right? Yeah. For, your for shadows are going to be noisy. Right. 85. I find like if I shoot someone with a sunset behind them, I'll still get a lot of their. The detail of their face right. compared to like if I was shooting on a different lens. Is it because it's a 1.4? Yeah. 
I'm shooting a 1.4. Yeah. That will give you. Yeah, that's yeah. giving you more light on there. That will give you a higher dynamic range. Okay. Not so much a higher dynamic range, but your more light. The more light, you're gonna. Their face is gonna have more. Yeah. Okay. I, it's just dawned on me today, if you're not really like into camera settings and you're not like a camera geek, you're probably just gonna find this whole vlog like really boring. But oh well, you know, that's what we're talking about today. room and we are watching some more documentaries tonight to get some inspiration we're watching the Louis Theroux Scientology movie and we're looking at how he does his kind of interviews now obviously this is like an investigative journalism documentary but we're gonna be doing things a bit different but it's interesting how people do it right I'm heading to bed I've managed to get like one and a half vlogs edited tonight um, I haven't managed to look at much of the um, S-Log footage, the, the style which we filmed our footage today. But the discussion I've been having with JP is, like, there's all these, like, correct ways to film cinematically that, to me, don't make a lot of sense for, you know, when we're going to be running around filming and not having time to change a bunch of settings. Uh, and because we're not experienced in filming some of the settings, I'm worried that we'll end up getting something wrong and not having usable footage. So for instance, one of the things with S-Log footage is if you don't have the exposure right, you end up getting really grainy footage. So we were thinking today, maybe we just forget it. Maybe we just find like a color profile. Like I always just film in a standard color profile and you can still do some grading on it and then maybe if there's really harsh environments with you know really bright areas of dark shadows maybe we could try filming a few clips in, in s-log but i don't know i don't know what you guys think if any of you guys film professionally and whether you qu ever question it or whether it's just something you're taught at film school is the correct thing i don't know but coming in as a vlogger from YouTube, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Like I've been watching vi YouTube videos throughout tonight about S-Log and or versus just stand shooting on a standard profile. It just doesn't look any different to me. It often looks better just keeping the standard profile. Maybe you get a bit more color information, but I don't know. I think for what we're doing, we probably don't need to. And then it does make you think, it was this last couple of days wasted at all because we were kind of learning? But I think, never, never think like that, guys. If you've, if you've come to a conclusion, often you have to go through that process as a bit of trial and error. And um, I feel like I'm more educated, but even with that education, I still feel like we've, we've got a good setup here. We've got a good setup going on. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> but it's been good. It's been a very educational day. And uh, sorry if it's bored you guys, but this, is, this has been a, an important part of our learning process. Um, next up, I think we need to, uh, I'll try and get some, take you guys through the process we're gonna go through for like the whole kind of storyboarding as much as we can of the trip. Obviously a lot of it's spontaneous, but um, hopefully we can, 
we can build a good story that will make a good documentary for people to watch. Right, JP's heading off in a couple of hours and then I'm flying tomorrow night back to, I'm actually flying to Paris, meeting up with Raya and then we're driving down to Mike's wedding. That is the plan and I'll catch you guys in the morning. Peace out, enjoy life and live the adventure. Boom.